Hi everyone, this is the PLC Fiddle Countdown Challenge and we're going to create a circuit that will count down 10 seconds. Now the countdown accumulator will start at 10 and go down to 0. It will automatically then reset and do it all over again. So it's continuously counting down to 10. From 10 down to 0 and back up to 10 down to 0 again. So let's take a look at the timing chart of this. And here we go. We have our one second pulse pulsing every one second and it, the countdown accumulator it'll actually start at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 then we go back to 10 again then 9, 8, 7, 6, etc. all the way down. So that's our timing chart. Going back here so the first thing we need to do is actually set up our our on delay timer that will give us a one second pulse. So let's do the not variable, the one second. So if it's not, um, the output's not on, and we want to do is set up a timer for one second. And let's just look at that timer. We'll set the preset value to actually one. So now every one second, 1001, 1001, you get the pulse going on and off. So there's my pulse now. Now, when the timer expires, which is every one second, what we want to happen is the count will count down. So let's add that to that, add that to our next row. So timer expires, we want to then count down. There we go. So now every time the, sec the timer expires, we're counting down. We can actually see that countdown. Here it is right here. But now you notice that we um, have the accumulator now. It's at minus 11, minus 12, minus 13. So it's counting down, um, but in the minuses. So what we have to do is now reset that. In order to reset that, we're actually going to change the accumulator only. And we're going to use the move function in order to move a new value or a constant back into that counter value. So what we'll do is go back to our contacts and when our output of our motor start is not on, or our output of our count value is not on, then what we want to do is do a move. So we'll look at the under the math, you'll see a move function here. And we're going to move the constant which in our case here is 10, we're going to move that back into our motor start, or our countdown accumulator. And now what we'll do is take a look at our countdown, and we have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0, and it goes back 10, 9. So it does exactly as we wanted it to do and we'll do a quick check here and we actually are okay we uh, seem to pass the test so we see the countdown timers now are counting down so all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and there are links below to get take you to other counter challenges and if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.